Hello friends, let us see the solution to the problem at hand appearing on your screen. So we see that the line AB has its top view and front view on a single projected line with front view 200 mm and top view 150 mm long. So we have uh, directly the projection, the length of the projections given and it is lying on the single projected line. So that is why so uh, along with the xy line horizontal line we can also draw one vertical line in uh, cyan color uh, so that we know that the line is lying in this uh, single projected line so end a is 50 mm behind vp and 100 mm below hp so what we can do first of all we can represent this point so the point is 50 mm behind VP that means it will come above XY line so this is the point uh, A the top view of the point A and uh, the point A dash which is the front view so that is uh, 100 mm below XY line so that is A dash Now uh, starting with this point we have to represent the uh, projections. You note that this point A so the data reveals that it is in the third quadrant it is below HP and behind VP. So we are further given that the end B uh, of the line is in the first quadrant that means so we have to see that the point B uh, satisfies the uh, conditions of being in the first quadrant that means it is a top view should be below and its front view should be above x y line. So uh, let us see how we make so from A let us say top view we start the top view is uh, equal to 150 mm uh, and uh, point A is uh, above x y line point B has to be below x y line because it is in the first quadrant. So from here to here if we draw so this is how it will become so if we draw the line in the other side so that will not meet this requirement that the point B will be in the first quadrant that will uh, violate this condition so we go in the reverse direction so this is the point B you note that it is coinciding with A dash but let it be it will not affect anything so we simply Donate, denote this point with B also. This is point B also. In drawings, we always the coincidence, uh, the 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 points, so overlapping points do occur. So let it, let this also occur. Now, focusing on the front view, it was the top view, 150 mm. So 1.5 uh, AutoCAD units indicates it correctly we have represented. Uh, <coughs> then you have the uh, front view the front view is 200 mm and uh, the point a dash is below x y line so point b dash has to be above x y line if it is in the third uh, if it is in the first quadrant so we start with a dash and uh, we complete a line equal to 200 mm that means 8 grid spaces and other end of the line is above x y line automatically and this is the point b dash so till this line till this point so we get the projections correctly so we just have to use the data given in the correct uh, way and we get the projections directly we get the projections at their required position of at uh, by this time now the next step is to obtain the true length and the true inclination so we use the trapezoid method so in the trapezoid method you know so we have to draw line a a equal to o a dash so for which the o point is the point lying on x y line this is the standard procedure so point o is the thing so from now different points you draw the different uh, 
lines so let us say uh, we have to start with a a so a a is equal to ob dash so what is ob dash so ob dash is equal to 100 mm above x y line so let us say no uh, from a so a a is equal to o a dash o a dash is below x y line so 100 mm below it is also 100 mm below x y line so this way we represent on a the capital a also this end is capital a we are talking about the top view so a a now b b we will get so point b is here so on b b we'll get ob dash so ob dash is ob dash is 100 mm above x y line so we go in the reverse direction o a dash was below ob dash is above 100 mm so we go in the reverse direction so this so this point is the capital b so with the completion of this point we have the true length already showing up here so this is the true length and you can see the true length is 2.5 autocad units after scaling it up so it is 250 mm so as per our scale so our answer to the problem is the uh, true length is 250 mm what about the inclination now the inclination of uh, a a with the vertical so that we we should remember it is the inclination with the hp so dim angular so we find the inclination with dim angular command and we note that it is 53 degrees so we can write the answer here TL is equal to 250 mm and uh, theta is equal to uh, theta is equal to uh, 53 degree and we know the phi is also just the complementary angle 90 minus 53 that means uh, it is 37 degrees so this is the other answer also so if you want to show the, the question is complete uh, even with this step itself so because all answers you know and all uh, the uh, you have to show the projectors so that you have also shown you have applied the trapezoid procedure also but if you really want to verify the angle phi with the, the uh, front view also that you can also do so now a a dash a dash we have to draw equal to oa what is oa oa is 50 mm so oa is 50 mm above uh, x y line so you can draw or a a dash so just equal to so up to this point okay so that point is a dash uh, that point is capital a dash similar way so you have uh, so ob or, or on b dash b dash b dash equal to ob ob is 50 mm the b below x y line so that way we show it this point is this point is b dash and we can join we can join b dash with a dash and this is the another true length so this also is 250 other is also 250 and the angles are already given. So this way we complete the problem. Thank you.